Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good and welcome to bedroom renovation number eight. Can you believe this is the last bedroom renovation video? Like, what the hell? How have we got through all of the bedrooms already? It feels like it was only the other day I uploaded the first like kitchen renovation video, so oh my god. But anyway, for those of you who are new, this is mine and my mom's second investment property and Basically, it was an old office that we converted into an eight bed house share or an eight bed HMO. And I really wanted to do like room by room renovations so that you could see like the whole process of like transforming the room. I was initially gonna film it like a different way. So the before footage is a bit meh, like you don't get the full effect I feel, but next time I'll just do it better. It's fine, I've learned. So yeah, if you haven't seen already, we've got a kitchen renovation video on my channel and then seven of a bedroom renovation videos. And this is the last one. I can't believe it. It's the last one. So bedroom number eight has like a similar vibe to bedroom number six and seven because they're all on the top floor. So they all have the same feature wall and things like that. So yeah, it's the same vibe, but you know, bedroom number eight has its own thing going on. But before we get into the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. That would really help me out. This is gonna be another bedroom. This one is really big. It's bigger than my own bedroom in my own house. It's very, very gross looking, but once we're done with it, it's gonna be looking real good. Okay, so the next clip you're gonna see is after we'd done a full strip out. I did vlog the whole thing on my channel if you wanted to check it out, but yeah, that is why there is such like a drastic change. Don't you think it just looks better already? Like I know that sounds really stupid because obviously it still looks disgusting, but it does just look better already. So also here before there was a big sort of box thing called a bulkhead or something like that. And basically they put that in to keep the head height for the stairs when people are walking down. So they couldn't just put one flat piece of board over because obviously walking down the stairs it would be too low. So they just had like this box thing. But that's been taken out now and we think we are gonna replace it with sort of like a slope coming down. So they've started putting this wood down on the floor now because um, obviously this was really rubbish chipboard before. So this is down in the top floor room and then they've built a slope over here because that was where we had that like box bulkhead thing. Okay, so this is when like a bit more of the work had started and they started doing like bits of the electrics and things like that. So this was like the first fix stage. So yeah, this was just how the room was looking. So bedroom number eight, the final bedroom has actually had its undercoat painted on. So obviously it did get plastered, but I didn't come in time to like show that. But um, yeah, this one's had its undercoat on and yeah. I feel like now the walls are white. I'm like, I can see the final stretch. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yes, we're nearly done. <laughs> so yeah, we're just using, well, our decorator is using this paint. So we're gonna have a concrete effect on this wall here where the beds are. We were actually just debating whether we should put it like all the way around here and then like there as well. But I think we're actually just gonna stick to over here. Okay, so little update on the eighth bedroom. It has finally got new flooring, which is looking super lovely. So when you're watching this, this is probably gonna be the last video in the series, but this is actually the room that's furthest along. So this is the first time that I've seen the flooring that we've got, which is like so weird. I feel like it's finally starting to look put together. And then we've got this light up there from Iconic Lights, which is super exciting. So yeah, I feel like we are nearly done in this room. So we've had the door hung in here and then we've also got the skirting on in here as well. So this one will be the first one to be finished and we're hoping to actually put furniture in here soon, so yeah. Why don't we have the mirror on that side reflecting the shelves on that side? Okay. Yeah, that could work. And then... I'm wondering if we do need something here though. To fill the space. So we could have either the shelves or stick the picture there. Yeah, just to just to make it look like a conscious decision to have the bed off centre. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yes. I like that. And we bring in the two the symmetry of the circles. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then have like artwork up there as well. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. 
Okay, so this is bedroom number eight finished. I feel like this is like the grand finale because it's the final of the bedroom renovations as well. But yeah, we've got the same concrete effect wall. I think that this one came out really well. And I like the fact that a lot of the patches like over here and like up in here as well, they look a lot darker. So like, I literally love that because I just love everything dark. So yeah. And then we've got the same wall lights that we've used literally throughout the whole house <laughs> and then the bed which i still don't know where this bed is from <laughs> i'll try and leave it linked below but there's no promises because i'm so busy um but then we've got this lovely little like ornamental insect cushion which i just think is so so cute we've got this mustard throw that was from ikea and then got this grey throw as well which is from Danal. i'm actually surprised that throughout the property there wasn't more mustard like mustard usually a thing you know but i don't know not happened and then as well we've just got this lovely little like round shelf which just looks so so cute and then like we just put these little fake plants on there then obviously they've got a ladder desk over there as well and then we just put this like little fake bush on and then this little chair too which is cute some lanterns on the floor and then this chest of drawers is out because in here if y'all remember we had like the bulkhead thing that was coming across so we couldn't put the chest of drawers in there because the only option we really had was to slope it off because that goes over the stairs so if we were to just level it off straight the height on the stairs would be too low <laughs> and then yeah they've just got space up there as well in case they want to put like a suitcase or anything like that so yeah that is the final bedroom Okay guys, so that was it for the final bedroom renovation video. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it. Okay, so the next video is gonna be the final house tour so you get to see like everything put together in one video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out the other videos in this series and watch everything through. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it as always and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>